pretty much ever since books had turning pages, bookmarks have been invented and they have been very important in our reading life. And in the modern era, YouTube life, markers are no different. Or in YouTube, you will call them timestamps. Basically, they're just timestamps in your video that mark specific areas in your video where people can quickly glance with their cursor to see what's up next. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to do that in DaVinci Resolve. So if you were like me and you didn't know how to do this, hit a thumbs up. I appreciate the support. But anyway, let's get started. Let's see how to do it. So I'm going to show you the easiest way or actually my favorite way to do it. It's not the easiest way, but it's my favorite way to do this is whether you're in the cut screen of DaVinci or if you're using the edit page in DaVinci, it's all the same. Hit Command M to the area that you want to mark. And right here, I'm going to have a like a little montage of different uh, B rolls. And I want to mark that. So all I have to do is hit Command M. Now using the Command M keyboard shortcut, you're going to have a prompt for the markers window asking you to label that marker, give it a name. And this is very important because actually in the YouTube timeline, that's what people are going to see when they can look at the different timestamps that you have throughout your video. So I'm going to name this B-roll footage. Hit enter and done. You can see up here on the top left corner of your screen that it is there. We have our marker. It has a name on it. When you upload to YouTube, that marker is going to be there. Pretty cool, right? Now I'm going to show you other ways to do that really quick. Another way you could do it is go to, let's say this is my conclusion, my final thoughts. You could just hit M. That makes a bookmark. But did you notice no window pop up? Well, that's just because you're just laying marks all around your timeline. You have to double click the little icon right here on the timeline above the timeline you could just double click that marker and again change the name to what you want people to see what you want to label your marker as and the other ways to do it is just find the icon either if you're on the cut page on the left side of the timeline you'll see a little blue icon for the marker and if you are in the edit page you're gonna see a blue icon a marker above the timeline right at the center one thing to keep in mind though, when you are exporting, it is vital that you click chapters from markers. This is going to keep those markers inside embedded in your videos. So whether you're running in QuickTime or in YouTube, you're going to see those markers and quickly jump into a part of your video. And also the viewers too, they get to do that as well. So that's really handy for them. And I'm sure all your viewers will appreciate it. So guys, if you enjoyed this really quick how-to, please hit a thumbs up. I appreciate the support. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the little bell to let you know when another how-to video, DIY, or cinematic video, it pops up in my channel. So thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one. Peace.